Hello crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a share for you guys today. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be a part of a little retreat that is going to be hosted by Glued With Love, who is Wendy. And she has, um, including herself, eight guests that will be at the retreat. And so we were all supposed to bring a goodie bag and it's bee themed. There was no guidelines. You could pretty much, you know, make or bring whatever you want. Um, so these are the things that I had made. Now I had a lot of plans in my mind when I originally was going to do this. And the funny thing is, is just, I guess life happened, <laughs> you know, everything with my dog. And now I have a little infant donkey that I'm pretty much taking care of. And so I didn't get to do nearly as much as I wanted, but I did get to do a few cute things and I enjoyed making every single one of them. So I wanted to share them with you guys because I'm about to pack them up. I feel like though, before they get packed up, there's probably going to be a change made here and there. I may add a few things, um, change a few things, but I wanted to go ahead and get the video done because I will be leaving in the morning morning so this will have to all be packaged um tonight so anyway let's get started so like I said it was supposed to be bee themed and so I decided to make and let's just start with this this is the holder that I decided to make let me push everything sort of out of the way and I'll bring in one thing at a time so the little holder I made I used and I'm going to take all of this out I think it's so cute I used the um, B album die set from KS Craft. I used that as a base to put behind there. I used their, do you remember the Santa box? Um, and it's had a few add-ons, but I used it to make the little uh, containers on both sides. But again, that beehive is in the very back. I used, um, I think this is a Crafty Meraki uh bow i made these little flowers with a punch this is the little tag from ks craft as well this is a little bee from ks craft and again one of my little handmade bows i use some really pretty paper that i've been hoarding from prima so it's pretty simple on the other side i haven't done a lot i may change that like i said before i leave if i have time so that is the little holder now inside of the holder i have I made a really cute little rosette, and this rosette is from My Creative Time. Um, I put a little bee on it. I've got a little scallop behind it with some netting uh, or some tool. I also have a little handmade flower, again, that I made with a punch and some little leaves. And then I put a couple of really cute bows in there for them. And then just a little bit of shaker mix in there. And here is a better look at that rosette I have it I had an extra I don't know what I was thinking a lot of these things I ended up with extras and I don't know if I was just counting wrong or what was happening but anyway so that is one of the things that I am um, gifting to everyone the other thing is the cutest little bee and it sits on a flower and I made some again made some cute little handmade flowers just to throw in there to go with that sort of dress it up and they can use those little flowers it's got some more of that um sequin mix in the bottom but I just love her I just do she is so sweet and here is a better look at her she's all made up but not attached to anything I used the butterfly and little bows from my stash oh she's got a bee stuck to her hold on that does not belong there Okay, there we go. That's better. She is so adorable. I love her so much. She is so cute. So that's the two things that I have in the front pocket here. And these pockets are pretty slim, so you can't fit a whole lot in there, not if it's dimensional at all. I did add this little clip up here to hold my tag on, and I made a couple, I had made those little flower charms. So I put a little bee and a little flower. Can you guys see that? All right up there on a little garment pin and then to put in the back of the beehive I made a Mimdex card let me move this out of the way and try to get this in frame for you guys so the Mimdex card I used the um the circle memory decks from scrap diva designs and so I used this piece the big round piece and then the frame piece so that is what I used to make this. This piece right here is the new Lawn Fawn Beehive Iris add-on. I absolutely love that. This is from My Creative Time. 
I said die for my creative time. And look at these little bees, you guys. I just love this. You can't see it because I have too many sequins in there, but it does say be kind inside of there. I used the little um, honey pot from Waffle Flower Crafts. It's a stencil and die set, and then you can get the little stamps for the face. Super cute. Love, love, love the way that turned out. And then on the back side, what I did was I took the circle that cut out of the uh, Memdex and I used it for a little pocket and I put a bow and that. And then I used this little heart die, which is also from Scrap Diva Designs and put my information on there so i'm just tucking that in the back and i think that looks super super cute and i like layered this with two layers of cardstock and i have chipboard in between so it is very thick and hardy because i knew if i was going to put something heavy on the front i wanted it to be you know really sturdy and so that is going to go in the back of my little pouch there very carefully tuck that flower in there so it doesn't get messed up now i'm thinking and i don't know yet i need something sort of to go here so we will see what i come up with if i add anything or change anything i will take pictures and put it on my instagram for you guys so that is the way my little um holder came out let me try to get this in frame so you guys can see it i just love it love it love it love it i think it turned out cute I also had made these little bee skips. Um, I used a plastic champagne glass from the Dollar Tree and some jute, wrapped it all around that. Added that beautiful double loop bow, again from Scrap Diva Designs, one of my handmade flowers, or two of my handmade flowers. And I added some little bees. And then this doily at the bottom, this beautiful little doily is for my creative time. Then I just added a really cute little um, bead at the top and some twine in case they want to hang it or you can put it on a tiered tray or however you want to do it it's super cute i love it you guys now along that same line i decided i wanted to try and make the mini ones and so i made these little tiny ones and these i used jute and i used a half of a um easter egg and wrapped around it and then I just used a tiny little bow that I had in my stash that's for my creative time and a couple of those little bees for that I thought it was so cute so cute I also um, created this cute little um, I don't know what they call these things the little honey pot stir stick and I painted the little stir the stir stick I added the bow and a little cabochon and then I added some gold glittered um, hot glue I just went blank and a cute little bee at the top and I think that will go super cute alongside of that and then I made this and I'm not done with this yet because I have to figure out what to finish filling this jar with but right now I have a bunch of bubble gum beads and other beads in here in the different color thing that I went with I did a little bow here with some twine added a button and a cute little bee and this material came from Hobby Lobby and I just die cut it with a little scallop die and added it to the top and I think it turned out cute I also made this little um, dangle. I've got this really pretty big chunky bee. And then I made some different um, wire wrapped beads and charms and different things to put on here. I've got it says be kind. I've got a little bee charm, uh, a butterfly charm. This one has hearts and flowers. I think they're all pretty pretty well similar, but with maybe a tiny variation here and there. And then I've got the little honeycomb, and I just think it turned out cute. I added it to a little heart like a lobster claw. Super cute, super cute. Put that in this cute little organza bag. I was going to try to dangle it from the... Um, the holder at the top but it's pretty heavy and it just wanted to knock everything over so I thought that's fine I'll add it like that and then last but not least I also um, made this today I don't know why I thought I was done and I was like you know what this is a cute idea I'm gonna have to do it so I made these cute little bees and I'm gonna show you guys what I used to make them it's wood is all it is it's a couple of wood pieces some wire some beads and some vellum Really, that's it. I used some little um, halfback wooden beads that I got from Hobby Lobby. I painted them. I drilled a hole in the top. 
I added the wire. These do not have the little beads, but I did add the little beads to the antennas. And then all I did was I took one of these little um, wooden hearts. I have a ton of these. I got them Hobby Lobby years ago, and they came in a bag of, gosh, I don't know, a couple hundred maybe. I painted one side, and on the other side, I added some of this really pretty polka dot paper, and then I striped it. So, and then I just added that, and then... Um, Made the little wings, attached them, and put the little cabochon on there. Super, super simple. And it turned out, you know, I like it when you have an idea in your mind and then it actually comes together the way you wanted it to. This one really did. It really turned out cute. I was kind of surprised. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm guessing I'm probably going to include it in part of the packaging somehow. But I think that turned out adorable. So, um... That is what I made for the, for, it's not a swap. It feels like a swap, but it's not a swap. I also made, you guys, and I think I'm going to ditch this idea. I had made a sequin mix. And then I put it in this little, I know you guys have seen these before. They're the little um, beehive, like, lip, lip balm jar type things. And I didn't, I just didn't, I didn't know what to do with it really. It just didn't. It, I don't know. It wasn't as cute as I was hoping it would be. I may add it. I may not. I may drop this down in the um, jar to go along with all the beads and everything. We'll see. I don't know. But I had to get the video done before I lost daylight. And I wanted you guys to see what I had made. And here are some of the dyes I used. I used the Scrap Diva Designs um, die. And this one is the circle one. It's like a patriotic look. It's super cute. I've had this one since last year. I used the KS Craft Beehive die. I used the um, KS Craft B here. And these were the wings that I used for um, the back of this. And I want, I'm not sure where this die came from. I can't, I can't be 100% honest with you guys. Don't know. Here is the little B here that I used that made that. If you're interested in any of these links, please let me know and I will be glad to send them to you. I used the um, scallop stitch rosette die again to make this super adorable rosette. And that's from my creative time. I used several times used this bow. This is one of my favorite bows and it's like the holiday bow for my creative time. And then for the back of my Memdex, I used these two pieces. Um, and these are dies from Scrap Diva Designs. It's a layerable heart. And then you get another layer. You can turn it into a shaker. You get two different sizes. And so it's super, super, duper cute. And that is what I used. And that is, I got to get this packaged up and figure out how I'm going to, you know, take it all. I don't have to mail it, thank goodness. But um, taking it, you know, and packaging it cute is going to be a goal to get done like in the next couple of hours and so that is what i have for you guys and i appreciate you stopping by if you like the video please give me a like a follow check me out on instagram um on instagram you will probably see pictures of all these in a little more detail so i appreciate you guys stopping by have a great day until the next crafty video happy crafting everybody